Today in the Daily Dose, the Battle of Seven Pines. Following the Battle of Williamsburg on May 5, 1862, General George B. McClellan's Union Army of the Potomac advanced slowly on the Confederate capital of Richmond, Virginia, establishing two new army corps on his Peninsula campaign in support of his original three. By the end of May, McClellan stood an army of 105,000 men, with his supply base moved deeper into Virginia to White House Landing. Dangerously straddling the Chickahominy River, with three armies on the North Shore and two on the South, all in an area where most bridges over the river had been preemptively destroyed by the rebels, Confederate General Joseph E. Johnston took advantage of McClellan's geographic handicap by attacking the Union's isolated Four Corps under the command of General Erasmus Keyes and McClellan's Three Corps led by General Samuel P. Heitzelman. Beginning late on May 31, 1862, in a two-day battle involving 73,000 men, the Confederates drove Keyes Four Corps from Seven Pines, Virginia, approximately 10 miles east of Richmond, inflicting heavy casualties on Union forces before reinforcements from Heitzelman's Three Corps arrived to hold the Union left. A mile to the north, near Fair Oaks Station, Confederate General William C. Whiting attacked the Union right flank before Union forces under the command of General Edwin Sumner's Two Corps crossed the Chickahominy over the Grapevine Bridge to stabilize the Union line. After Johnston was wounded in action, Early on June 1st, the Confederates renewed their attack on federal positions until General Joseph Hooker's Three Corps forced a rebel retreat, ending two days of bloody fighting. By the time cannon and gunfire fell silent, the Union Army had suffered 5,739 casualties, while the Confederates suffered just shy of 8,000. And while both sides claimed victory at Seven Pines, Johnston's wounding had a profound impact on the remainder of the war when Confederate President Jefferson Davis appointed General Robert E. Lee to command the rebel army. Lee's aggressive style successfully pushed McClellan's Army of the Potomac safely away from Richmond, extending the war for another 33 months before America's war with herself came to its blood-soaked conclusion. And there you have it, the Battle of Seven Pines, today on The Daily Dose. If you like learning something new every day, subscribe to The Daily Dose on YouTube or sign up for emails at dailydosenow.com.